So we're going to look at how to connect our pay stack to accept credit card payment on our platform. So right now, go to plugins. I'll click on um, install plugins, and then clicking on install plugins, I will now search for. Okay, I will click on add new plugin. Remember, add new plugin. Then under the search plugin, you have to type pay stack. Right, so we see different type of pay stack, blah blah blah. But this one we're looking for is pay stack WooCommerce gateway. Store this. All right, after installing this, click on activate and then go to the plugin that you just activated. Go to settings, and after you see settings, you see they said you should write put this on your webhook url to have a situation where there is bad network uh right now i will so right now i will just delete this i will delete this we're wondering where is it coming from then pop up so this is what you see this is what you have the first time installing your pay stack this is what you have right uh, so um you can auto complete other move so this is what you have initially this is what you have initially after you install your paystack plugin now go to paystack you know the way we have created our account on paystack the other time now this is test mode because we are not going to be live now i will be using test mode for you and now to connect your api you need to go to the settings when you go to settings And you go to settings go to you see api and web books so go to web api and web books okay so api and web books you see test secret key this is your secret key this is your public key and then this is your web book url so what you need to do now is copy this link you copy this link paste it in your web book url that is going to be your web book url generated from your wordpress dashboard copy this test secret key go to your make sure you enable page stack click on it enable test mode because you are in test mode all right if you are not in if you do not enable the test mode it will be live secret key but we are on test mode we are going to enable test mode now the reason why we are using test mode let me explain very well is because this test mode this account is not in live mode once this um, account is approved just like the one that we did the registration for it will change to live mode and this live mode all this test key will not will not be live secret key live public key live everything will be live and you can copy it and then the only changes you make here is toggle this if it is live you want to use and if you want to use the test mode you put this test mode remember test mode is just for testing Live mode is the one that will actually put money into your own bank account. Okay, so I have enabled the test mode. The uh, secret key that I just copied, I will paste it here. And then public key, I will copy public key. And then I will paste the public key right here as well. And then auto complete order, I will select it so that when customer completes their payments, the order completes by itself automatically. We don't want that to happen. If you want to confirm your payments, if you receive it, you can just deselect this. Don't select it. Now, enable split payments. If you want your customer to be paying two times, you can do that. Enable payments. Yeah, I will allow that payment to be saved. Um, additional payment gateway. Select one. One is okay. All right. So I think I'm okay with this setup. Then right now, it just becomes save. Now, once I do that. I will go back to my checkout. I'll go back to my home, right? Let's add new product to cart. So I'm adding this 150 naira product to cart, right? And then I'm going to my cart. Click on this, going to my cart. Then after that, I will proceed to checkout. This is another way you can still go about that. And then my Card is already filled, it's already pre-filled, I've already filled those things like that. And then I can see Paystack. You see, secure by Paystack is now activated. So I'll just click on make payment using your debit credit card, save to account. They can save it. That's the customer's decision. 
So right now I will have to accept and place my order. Right, so placing my order will pop up, will bring it pop up for pay stack for me to pay with whatever I want to pay with. So did I want to pay with card? If I want to pay with card, I will select card, I will input my card details. If I want to pay with bank transfer, I will pay with bank transfer. If I want to pay with USSD, it will bring USSD. So I'm paying with card, I have a card. After, after I input my card, I will put success and then paid. My payment is successfully paid. You see now what I received, blah, blah, blah. So now let's go back to our e-commerce. Let's go to orders. Going to orders, we see new item that has been ordered. So four seconds four seconds ago you see now this order is automatically completed right so this is the new order automatically completed because this stack already confirmed the order right so order received thank you your order has been received so this stack has already confirmed the money is already in this stack and then it will be delivered to your bank account so that is why i said if you don't want to select auto you don't want to select auto that is what happened here auto complete order so this is it. Let's deselect auto complete order and see what happens. So I will click on save changes. I will go to my add to cart again, then go to home. I will add new product to cart. I will add this product to cart. Then go to my cart. Then proceed to checkout. And after proceeding to checkout, fill my information. Then I'll use my card, accept payment, proceed. I'm using the card, same card, give me the pop-up. Oh, okay. So since I already saved that card, automatically it's, um, yeah, so, so automatically it's ordered for me. So let's go back to our e-commerce orders. Let's go to orders again. And let's see the new order that we just ordered. So the new, you see now, the new order is on processing, which means it's not automatically completed. So you can now edit, go to that order. If you receive the payments, then you can now change the processing. From processing, you can now, from processing, you can now select it to um, completed and you can now update. You see, payment, all the information, payment, the pay stack is also fully blah, blah, blah. Other status has been changed to present to completed dates and every information about it you can see it's right there. So you can add more notes to it depending on what you want. So this is all about how to create a professional WooCommerce website that can accept payment online and then your customers can pay for your product at anywhere at any point in time. So I believe this video has given you a lot of value. It gives you a lot of value kindly go to my profile and give me a good review thank you so much for your time and for sticking with me throughout the entire course of how to be that e-commerce store so in our next section we'll still be talking about, about much more different e-commerce projects now i have some premium teams that i can give to you at a discount fee so that you can have a very good e-commerce store and i will still have another videos on how to be that e-commerce platform and then also in my next video i'm going to talk about how you can build your own cryptocurrency platform whereby you can trade with cryptocurrency and a lot of stuff like that i can teach you about a lot of things in uh, i can teach you how to build your own blog how to build your own banking system you want to create your own bank like you want to have your own bank you want to have your own virtual bank yeah you can actually create that and then to do that i can actually train you all these courses are going to be available in all of my pages in all of my pages so if you are interested in any of those courses you can actually go to my uh, to the platform and search for it and then wish you all the best of luck in whatever you decide to do and i believe with this you should be able to know how to build your own fully e-commerce website Thank you for sticking with me to today. I wish you guys all the best. Bye.